Hello again there guys, I have something extraordinarily special for you today. This is the brand new, just released, developer preview of Ubuntu for tablets. Don't know if that's exactly what they're going to call it in the long run, but as you can see here, I've installed it on my Nexus 7, and I thought I would just very quickly walk through the interface for you. If you weren't aware, this is the developer edition, so it is not 100% yet. This is just sort of a proof of concept, letting the development community get their hands on it and see what they can do with it. So it's not complete. Uh, it's unfortunate, but that's, you know, that's the way that it works. So as you can see here, we have a time. It's not the correct time, but I'm guessing that's different time zone. It's probably, of course, uh, British Standard Time or whatever they're on over there. Uh, you've got 14 tweets received. I haven't provided any details, so I think that's just a static image. If I, yeah, I can't do anything to the screen here, but if I swipe from the side, there's my launcher. I'll move my hand out of the way there. You've got all your standard icons you'd use, including the home icon down here. So we'll go ahead and hit that. And here's our home launcher. So you've got, let's see, people recently in touch with, not my people, music, you've got videos that are popular online. I, okay, it's sw swiped over to the people section. I've got a, an odd setup here, so I'm kind of trying to figure out the best way to be able to see everything and still let you see. So this is the people lens, so you can swipe up and down. A little laggy, not too bad really. Uh, once you actually get into swiping, it's not bad at all. It was just that first touch. You can swipe across these people up here. Again, not my people. These are uh, developers and engineers, as far as I know. If you click on one of them, there we go. There's the person, their phone number, contact info. Tap the top and you go back. Uh, let's see what happens if we swipe up from the bottom. Nothing on this particular one. If we swipe over, we go back to home. Swipe again, there's the apps pane. Apps pane, we have the frequently used applications. These are, again, set in stone, I think, for the moment. Installed applications down here. Some of them work, some of them don't. Some of them are just web links. Uh, available to be downloaded. A bunch of things that are just buttons that don't do anything at the moment. And like I said, most of the stuff up here either isn't 100% or it's, it's a web app, one or the other. So like the browser, the browser does work. I've connected this up to my Wi-Fi and I'm able to, to get online. Haven't done really anything in terms of web browsing, but that it is what it is. And I believe that was the, yeah, that's the top. And here's the uh, the swipe up from the bottom menu. You've got go to instead of actually having a, uh, nope, that didn't do anything. I'll admit, I have not tried typing in a URL yet. So let's put that back down. Oh, there's the URL at the bottom. And that actually brings me to an interesting point, the keyboard. As you can see, lots of gray space, not white space, whatever you want to call it. And it always shows everything in caps. Interesting uh, design choice, I suppose. If I start typing, it is typing in lowercase there, so the keyboard does work. Uh, not 100% perfectly responsive yet, but you know, it. like I said, it is what it is. It's developer preview. If I want to, I should be able to, there we go, swipe it down, swipe back up, and you have to go to a specific spot on the screen if you can see that. Yeah, that little, I guess it's a magnifying glass with some lines on it. There we go. And you've got your settings in here. No swiping on this screen, but you can tap on things and don't really get anything. There we go. Mute and volume, clear all, I guess, for notifications or, yeah, automatic brightness. That doesn't really look like an automatic brightness thing, but okay. Go to new tab, back forward, reload. Okay, and just options. All right, so, and that's actually one thing I did notice here. You've got the X, so you can close out of the app that you're running. I've seen this in a lot of apps that have, well, a lot, the, the apps that I've used on here, they did add that so that uh, I guess after I talked to Jono about it, maybe somebody uh, got the idea that, oh wait, we need to close apps. Let's look through some of the other ones just to be curious here. Camera, I did try to open this earlier. Doesn't appear to work at this point. Um, kind of surprising, but I guess at the same time, not entirely. You know, you've got the camera buttons here at the bottom, different things that they, they are actually interactive. They do something, but they don't work with the camera. I'm guessing either something may be wrong with this build or something may be wrong with my system. We'll see that here in just a minute when I try to open one of the videos. Uh, the gallery app does indeed work. A little bit sluggish, I guess, because it's loading so much data up all at once. 
the first time it was a little slow, now it's just fine. It's, it's actually decently fast now. If I swipe across, it was just sluggish for a second there, but not bad. Not too bad. Just still that initial loading stuff up and moving stuff around. Let's click on some of these and see what happens. There's an image, and if I, I guess I swipe across it to, yeah, go between images. Don't know how I get back. I guess maybe, hmm. Well, that sort of did it, but not really. So now we have a running app. That's interesting. And now we should be able to, oh, just barely saw that for a second there. There's back. Ah, two different ways to swipe up. That's an interesting design concept. So you can either go up to this one, which gives you the full options menu or the little chrome at the bottom with actual buttons on it. So that's interesting, I suppose. Uh, phone will take you into a phone dialer, which on the Nexus 7 is not particularly useful. Lots and lots of white space, again, because we're on the Nexus 7, it has a higher resolution. Actually, than my phone, I guess it doesn't. Uh, but you've got contacts you can go into, not my contacts, but there's a bunch of them in there. Taking a little while to load, not, again, not too bad, it's not really that slow. It's not, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to make excuses for it, it's, it's still early in the process, but click on it and you get all your contact info. I guess you swipe up, yeah, swipe up and get the back button, swipe all the way up, and you get the close arrow again. So there we go. That is that. Uh, Facebook, I'm not even going to bother with at this point. I'm guessing it's just a, a web app, but Gmail specifically, it's going to open up the web browser and take you into a Gmail mobile page. And just for the sake of not showing my personal Gmail on video, we'll move on. Uh, down here in the installed area, we have a bunch of different installed applications, which I'm guessing are mostly web apps. Amazon is probably going to take you directly to the Amazon web page. Yeah, you can see that loading bar at the bottom. Um, I'm just closing out of things as I open them. I guess I should leave them alone, but eBay will... I tried this one earlier, take you to the eBay mobile page. Let's do it this way. So we have several things open, right? We're back on the home page. There's apps, uh, Twitter. That one pulled up slightly differently, presumably because I already had the browser open. So yeah, that's the Twitter mobile site, the eBay site, back and forth, and now back to the launcher. Ooh, getting a little slow there. Okay, Ubuntu one. I wonder if there's, nope, that's a web page again and load it. Okay, and that's where you'd sign into Ubuntu One, presumably. So, um, over here, like I said, you've got these down available for download. They don't do anything. Ski Safari, I think, is just an image at this point. Yeah, it's, it looks like it's ready to be a game to be played, but it's not actually doing anything. But I can close it in the same way I closed the others. I'm just gonna close out of all these while I'm at it. Oh, it does show you the apps that are running. That's I can't flick them away or anything. I guess I can, well, let me close the apps. There we go. So it's, I guess it's opening up a different tab in the browser for each one of these that you're messing with. There we go. So we're back to the home screen again. Okay, so in terms of the apps, uh, as you can see, mostly just opening up the web browser and then a couple of actual phone type apps. Uh, moving on over, we've got videos, which will open up a video player. We'll just, whoop, that's going to get old. <laughs> we'll open up Sintel. That's from the, the Blender Open Movie Project. Again, I don't know why. Black screen. Uh, if I turn it sideways, you can see down here, maybe, the uh, counter is running. But if I turn it sideways, it flicked for a second there. And if I kind of scroll between, you can see the the little bar shows things are happening. There's you know, Sintel, the main character, and the time is counting, but it's not actually showing anything. So, again, presumably that's something wrong with either running on the Nexus 7 or uh, with the app itself, not sure. You've also got all these recent things and new releases that, again, probably hard-coded for the moment, but they're things that you can go out to the Amazon store and buy, or buy from, or rent from uh, Ubuntu One in most cases. Not sure how that's gonna work. I'm trying to decide if I want to throw a few dollars at it and see if it works. Anyway, moving on. That's the last tab we've got. So back to apps, home, 
people, and music. Now the music tab I have not spent any time on yet, so I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I'm just going to click on one of these and see what it took me back to people. Okay. And there are buttons that don't appear to go anywhere. So yeah, that... Okay, good to know. Okay, and I guess the last thing to go through, the items on the launcher and the items across the top. On the launcher, as you... Where am I going now? On the launcher, there we go. Uh, got all the things that were on that home screen, the apps that some work and some don't. What's this one? Presumably a notepad of some sort. Notes. Can I take a note? T-E-S-T. I am able to take a note. I'm guessing maybe this is a fork of Tomboy. And I can hit new note down here, or I can bring it up and close it. That I could actually get used to. That's really not that bad. Just swipe up and close. Yeah, I personally would prefer to do like either a full page swipe to, to get rid of something, or I don't know. It's, it's kind of odd having one action that does two different things, but I guess I could get used to it. And the last thing I guess to show would be the things across the top. You see we have mes messages here. We can swipe over just a little bit and get sound menu. Go on over for networks, battery, date and time. And actually, there we go, the clock, it's set to London time. So am I able to change it? Um, clock. I guess I can't do anything there yet. Uh, messages, these are a hard-coded list of messages, but you can go through and click on them, call back, you know, send reply, things like that. I'm going to assume they're not going to go to anybody at the moment, but it's something to try. And there we go, flick up, gets it to go away eventually. And there's sound menu where you can mute things, you can control the volume. Uh, mute. Yep, that works. And what else can we do? We're going to pull back down again. There's networks list, date and time, and battery life. 3% battery I've lost, and I've probably been doing this for 20 minutes now, so yeah. That's, I mean, that's really not too bad considering the screen's been on the whole time and I've been flicking through things and trying things. One way or another, uh, interesting first try at this. I will not be leaving it on there for right now, but I will probably try it again in another month or two just to see where it is. I, I'm not an Ubuntu developer, so I am not going to be much help in terms of developing at the moment. But uh, very interesting first look at it as far as I'm concerned. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to like me to try out before I put uh, put Android back on here, definitely let me know down in the comment section below and I can try to answer you or maybe make another video. But as always, thank you so much for watching, thank you for your time and your patience, and I will see you again in the very near future. Bye guys.